Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, for this week's video, we're going to talk about NVIDIA and CUDA support on Mac OS. Unfortunately, that is going away as of uh, CUDA 10.3. Now, this uh, we found this out uh, from the release notes of the most current version, which is CUDA 10.2. And uh, just to show you the release notes. And uh, they say CUDA 10.2 is the last release to support Mac OS. Support for Mac OS will not be available starting the next release. So, uh, which I'm guessing is CUDA 10.3. Now, this, this is sad news for professional users and content creators such as myself. Um, because obviously CUDA um, allows you uh, to use pro apps with um, NVIDIA graphic cards uh, with hardware acceleration. Uh, in many cases for a lot of uh, different pro apps, usually uh, video editors and um, special effects, uh, 3D rendering and things of that nature. And of course this is kind of a battle between um, Nvidia and Apple for a long time. Um, Apple usually uh, switches between AMD and Nvidia depending which has the best deal, uh, things like that. and. They did use a batch of NVIDIA mobile graphic chips in their MacBook Pros at one time, which uh, a lot of them had to be recalled. It cost Apple a lot of money, and really NVIDIA, as far as its CUDA, is proprietary, making it much harder for Apple to use it for their own purpose. So, which I believe was some of the reasons why they decided to go with AMD primarily. Um... Now, this doesn't prevent somebody from um, perhaps downloading drivers um, from NVIDIA uh, for NVIDIA graphic cards, even some of the older, older Mac Pros, even the newer Mac Pro 2019 hasn't been released yet. Now, you won't be able to use the hardware acceleration CUDA, obviously. Now... Now there's some that are still supported. I th I think the Mac editions, such as uh, the uh, Nvidia um, GTX 680, I believe they have a Mac edition now that should still be supported. And even looking at some of the older CUDA drivers, I also uh, found this out myself. Um, really, the only thing I think is supported is uh, High Sierra. I'm not sure, sure what CUDA version that is. I, uh, I can't remember. I forgot to write it down. Sorry about that. So, and so, like I said, it's sad news. So, if you use NVIDIA primarily for pro, uh, pro applications on a Mac, um, keep in mind uh, this is going to probably affect, eventually going to affect your workflow. Um, trying to use uh, CUDA for, like I said, rendering if you're using your GPU. So you're going to have to find some workarounds, either um, transit to a Windows computer or even Linux, for instance. Um, switch graphic cards to AMD on a Mac or um, support applications um, that support Metal or Metal 2. Uh, using AMD graphic cards or uh, excuse me um, Nvidia as well I guess so yeah you guys are probably definitely gonna have to check that out um, currently I do use Apple mostly AMD graphic cards right now so I'm good unfortunately with the new Mac Pro coming out in 2019 I'm not going to afford the 6,000 pace price so I'll probably end up moving to Windows computer and then eventually DaVinci Resolve, which is fully supported. Now, some applications should matter. For instance, DaVinci Resolve, uh, recent more, the most recent version being 16, does support Metal 2 uh, on AMD graphic cards, um, CUDA, uh, NVIDIA. So um, that sh may not be as much uh, affect you as much, I guess. So um, keep that in mind. Uh, check your computer, your graphic card, and your application as well. See, see what's going on. Besides that, uh, thanks for watching, and see you guys later.